They won't tell me anything about it, but we're all watching with bated breath. Hey, this is Travis. Ridges is BitTensor subnet number 62. It provides AI software agents that write code. So essentially their subnet is a winner takes all competition for emissions. And any miner that makes an improvement over the last best AI agent code, then that code is made public. And then other miners can look at that code. They can copy it and then make an improvement upon that. And since it's all open source and out in the open, it creates this sort of collaborative, competitive environment. And to me, this is like super hype. This is the epitome of what BitTensor can be. And I think it can be that for many subnets, not just Ridges. Though I think it'll probably be a few months before we see any other subnets do it as well as Ridges has. So they're able to outcompete their centralized competitors for a few reasons. First, they have access to the entire world's talent pool something that a centralized business just doesn't have access to. Second, they can swap out the underlying LLM for new open source LLMs when they come out. Whereas a typical centralized competitor is training up those LLMs and then building agent code on top of it. So of course that training costs a lot of money as well. And speaking of money, that brings me to point number three. Through their integration with inference subnets on BitTensor, they can provide the cheapest inference possible, way cheaper than their centralized competitors. So they're going after a $400 billion software engineering market, and they've got a two-phase go-to-market strategy. Phase one is making tools for human engineers to work faster. Phase two is to remove humans from the loop entirely, allowing business managers to build and deploy AI agents directly to build software products. Now, with the incentive for improving this AI agent code being in the tens of thousands of dollars per day, you can imagine the insane amount of talent that Ridges is attracting. They've got a product launch lined up for this September, so by the time you're watching this, probably will be September. They won't tell me anything about it, but we're all watching with bated breath. Now, in this video in particular, I just wanted to go through their website to show exactly what they're doing and how transparent they are. So if you go to Ridges AI and you click on Explore Agents here, you'll end up at this page. First, this graph here, this is their software engineering kind of benchmark. I think it's internal, so it can't really be compared very well against other agents. So it's really just comparing against itself. So the way that the subnet used to work is that a miner, in order to get emissions, had to make a 1.5% increase in this top score percentage here. So you can see each of the jumps here in the score is a new miner that is getting emissions, because they've improved the collaborative AI agent code. So right now you can see they're at 65%. Probably by the time you're watching this video and it's all edited, this will be higher, just judging based on this graph so far. They recently made a change where you don't need to make a 1.5% improvement on the last miner, but it's more dynamic. So it starts at maybe 1.5 and, and then it goes down over time. So it becomes a little bit easier to make incremental improvements over time. So you can see actually what's happening right now on the network here. So my understanding is that it's evaluating some of these guys. And then if you actually just wanna look at the code, you just click on one of these guys. And then you can actually see here the code for that AI agent submission. And of course, it's thousands and thousands of lines long here. And then you can even look at uh, the summary here generated by AI of the actual submission here. So I guess the key feature here is parallel execution of search and, and analysis tools for efficient test function discovery. Now, I'm sure you'd have to be an AI researcher to understand what the heck that means. But the cool thing here is that I can take all this code here and it's just in Python and run it on my machine if I want so extremely transparent. It's not something where like a validator is the only one who has access to it. If you click on payouts here, you can see payouts here and which miner they're going to. So everything is very transparent. You can click on their documentation here. And in particular, you can look at their incentive mechanism, right? How exactly are miners being paid? What exactly is the criteria? That'll be in here. Now, of course, that documentation might not be that helpful if you're not used to how BitTensor works. You can look at my videos if you don't know how it works to get a feel for how BitTensor in general works. And then once you've got that feeling, you could go and take a look at their documentation and understand it a little bit better. And then of course the last and the coolest thing is that you can look at their top minor code here. So I think this is sorted by their SWE benchmark um, descending. So I think the top ones here are the best ones. So of course you can click on their agent here and you can actually just look at and copy the code for their best AI agent code. 
It's actually kind of interesting to look through these prompts here, basically giving the LLM thought process to go through here. And so if you want to be one of those cringy, you know, prompt engineer people, this is probably a really good place to get ideas for how to structure your prompts. Because of course, coming up with this AI agent code and competing with miners from across the world and then the best ones, uh, you know, this is the current best right now. There's probably some really good prompting in here. So Ridges right now is like the closest thing to the perfect form of a subnet. Everything's out in the open. It's a collaborative competitive environment, not just a competitive one. And for that reason, like it's clearly going to beat its centralized competitors at some point soon. And also their miners or AI engineers that are working on the subnet, they are going 24 seven, you know, with a centralized company, you're going to be going for 40 hours a week, maybe. But the miners on this subnet are going hard. And then at some point, we're going to have the subnet plug into itself, right? To ask itself to write better code for itself. Like, I, I don't know what happens when that happens. I, I don't know what's next. So yeah, it's like this perfect image of what a BitTensor subnet should be. And, and kind of really, I think, the gold standard for how a subnet should be built in this open, collaborative, competitive, way. And I'm pretty sure that other subnets could use and follow the same sort of model. There's other BitTensor subnets that aren't uh, very good because it's just a closed competitive environment where no one can see each other's improvements. Whereas Ridges really allows you to build the best possible AI agent code that humanity is capable of building. So wouldn't it be cool if some of the other subnets, like the AI deepfake detection subnet, wouldn't it be cool if they somehow made a collaborative competitive environment where miners can see each other's improvements and build upon them, or for weather prediction, or for trading data and strategies. And I'm sure it could work for many other subnets, but also it's like the first version of this collaborative competitive environment. So maybe there's better versions of it that evolve on other subnets. You know, maybe winner takes all isn't the best. Maybe a Pareto distribution between miners is the best somehow. I don't know. We'll have to wait to find out. But the really cool thing is that BitTensor will incentivize the best solutions here. So myself, I really see Ridges as just another, you know, standing on the shoulders of giants, but like big improvement, big, huge technological discovery, collaborative competition. Like that's so cool.